I'm so excited to show you the project that I have for you today. It's this sweet little end table. Isn't it so cute? I can't wait to show you how I made this sweet little table over and I used something I've never used before. My name is Cindy, I'm with reinventeddelaware.com and we love to repurpose and reinvent all sorts of home decor and furniture and then we love to share these projects with you here on YouTube and over on our blog at reinventeddelaware.com. And this little end table is up next. Let's get started. Here's this sweet little table that I picked up at our local thrift store for about $5. You can see that top apron has already been repaired. I, I didn't do that repair, but it was cute and I left it and it added to the history of this piece. Here you see me applying a coat of Dixie Bell's Boss. That stands for blocks, odors, stains, and stops bleed through. And since this table has so much red tint to it, I was afraid that it would bleed through the pretty beautiful blue color that I had selected for it. So I applied one coat of Boss over the entire surface of the little side table. I wanted to show you how I like to paint spindles on legs like this little table has or even on chairs. If you paint up and down in a vertical motion on a spindle like this, you'll have a lot of runs where all the little ridges are. So what I like to do is lay off some of the paint from the brush onto the spindle and then I go back and forth, kind of in a flicking motion, back and forth, back and forth. You can see me there doing it and that eliminates the runs. I applied two coats of Boss and I allowed about an hour between each coat to dry. When it was completely finished, it was time to pull out the paint. I chose to use Silk All-in-One Mineral Paint from Dixie Belle in the color Serenity. I have a surprise for the top of this table and this color is going to match it perfectly. I applied one coat all the way around the whole table. I love this paint because it includes a primer, the paint color, and a sealer. You'll notice that I turned the table upside down to start with. That's because when you're painting spindles like this, you're bound to miss some areas underneath the spindle that you won't see until you turn the table over. So just to get that part over with, I turn it upside down to make sure that I've covered all of the areas that I might have missed if the table were painted right side up. Even though I have a special surprise planned for the top of this table, I decided to go ahead and paint it anyway. I, I didn't want any of that dark color to 
show through the paper that I would be using. Oops, I almost let it slip, didn't I? I still love the distressed look. It's one of my favorite looks, especially on older pieces like this. I like to take a flat edge knife. Uh-oh, I've got to go get my dog. He can get to barking and disturb me. Anyway, I like to use a flat edge knife to distress my pieces. I just very, very carefully scrape off some of the paint paint so that the under layer will show. I really like this look a lot. I also use a fine grade piece of sandpaper and I go over some of the edges just to add a little bit more of distressing. So here's the fun part. I'm using a self-adhesive wallpaper that I found on Amazon to give the top of this table just a little bit of decor that I can't paint this by myself, so I decided to do it this way. I cut the piece off to allow for extra all the way around. And then I peeled back the backing just a little bit at a time. You don't want to peel off the whole thing. That would be just a mess. So I peeled back just a couple of inches at a time and I laid down just a little bit and I made some pretty good contact with my fingers just rubbing it back and forth. Then I slowly peeled back the paper from the underside allowing this, the, adhesion, the adhesive part to slowly stick to the table. I was making sure that I looked for gaps or folds or any of that. Once I was finished, I used my hands and I went around the whole surface and worked out as many of the little bubbles. And honestly, there were not very many bubbles at all, but I just went around the whole thing and made sure that it was sticking down nicely. I took a soft, clean cloth and folded it flat. And then I used that to help my hand even out the amount of pressure that I was applying to the tabletop. Now for the scary part. I'm just kidding, this isn't scary at all. Remember the table had that pretty scallop? Well, I wanna make sure that I highlight that. So I put a fresh blade in my X-Acto knife and I used a 45 degree angle against the edge of the curve of the table and I just carefully cut off the excess paper. It went along very smoothly. I took my time. I used my finger, my thumb there, you can see on my left hand, to guide the blade as it went along the curve of the table. If there were any spots that I missed, I just used my blade and just went back and cut it off. I used my microfiber cloth and my fingertip and I went around the whole surface making sure that the paper was stuck down completely. All right, let's take a look at the table. There's my little Barkley wondering what I'm doing. Scooch over, fella. So here's that sweet little table. I love it. The color that I chose it was Dixie Belle's color called Serenity. It's in the silk all-in-one paint line. And that color goes perfectly with the paper that we put on the top. Love this vinyl paper. It was so easy to use. It's self-stick. Uh, it cuts perfectly. You can see how I took that razor blade along this pretty curved edge, and it just was so easy to apply. That vinyl paper will protect, like if there's a glass sitting on the top that has condensation or maybe a plant that leaks. There goes my dog. Hold on. Okay, he settled down. Let's get back to this sweet little table. So this little table would be really cute in a living room as a side table. You could store magazines or books on the bottom shelf. You'd have a place to put, you know, your cup of coffee in the morning or a glass of iced tea in the afternoon. It would also be really cute in a bathroom. So I can see pretty little jars like my blue mason jars filled with cotton balls or uh, Q-tips, that kind of thing, and maybe some pretty hand towels folded up nicely for the bottom rack, for the bottom shelf that's down there. It's a nice place to put a plant. It just looks so cute. I love this little table.
while I was filming the reveal of that little table and that tray, the FedEx man made my delivery for Dixie Belle. So I just thought I'd show you. This, this is the color that I used on that table. It's called Serenity. It's from the Silk All-in-One Mineral Paint line with Dixie Belle. Wonderful paint. It includes the primer and the sealer and the gorgeous color. Then I, for the order, I've had that color. Obviously, I've used that. But for the order, here's some things that I got. I got the Silk All-in-One Mineral Paint for in salt water for my kitchen cabinets. I ran out, had to get some more. And then I got these beautiful colors here. There's soft pink, there's peony, the rebel yellow, barn red, daisy, and Colonel Mustard. I love the name of that. It reminds me of that game Clue. Remember that? I also got a couple of these scrubby soaps. These are wonderful to clean out your brushes. I got a couple more paint brushes. Best paint brushes, I love them. And I also got this here, this is Slick Stick. I have a fun project due for this year. You're going to love this project, I can't wait to show you. And then this color here is called Savannah Mist. And then I got some of these sanding pads. These are really the best sanding pads. They're so handy to have. They come in you know, different grades of medium, fine, all the way down to super fine. And then I got these little sanding sponges. I needed some more to finish up my kitchen cabinets. So that's my Dixie Bell order. And I'm gonna get these things put away. And so did you like that project? It was kind of fun, wasn't it, to use that contact paper? I've never used it before. And I love how it turned out. It's just so pretty on this table. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, could you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel? I would love it if you join us here on this journey. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.